Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be bringing down the latest news around the NFL. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> And the Miami Dolphins, busy once again. They're going to be re-signing Raheem Mostert to a two-year $5.6 million deal, uh, which includes $2.2 million guaranteed. So this is interesting here with Raheem Mostert. I, I, I think this is a great re-sign. I thought he should be re-signed. Played really well for Miami last year. Um, 891 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns, 31, rece uh, 31 receptions for 202 yards and two touchdowns too. So put over 1,000 yards. Um, put over, yeah, put over a thousand yards from, from the line of scrimmage. Um, and I thought he was really productive, um, in his role. Um, you know, when he was in the game, he was picking up yards, had a big game against Buffalo late in the year. Um, you know, I think he had like over 130 rushing yards in that game. Um, you know, the talent is there for most It's just, can he stay on the field? And for most parts of last year, he did. And he played really well in San Francisco too, under Mike McDaniel. So very clear why he's back. Um, but two couple things to just keep your eyes on here. Um, I don't know if the Dolphins are done yet at the running back position. I mean, Raheem Mostert for $2.8 million a year is, is a steal. Um, I think Mostert probably took a pay cut. He probably could have got paid a little bit more somewhere else. Um, probably took a pay cut to stay in Miami, really likes the roster, really likes, you know, Mike McDaniel and the scheme and everything, and I think it really works for him. But the Dolphins are also rumored to be interested in Dalvin Cook, maybe making a trade for him and trying to figure out um, if they have some capital to do that, because... Um, you know, the Dolphins are going all in on this year. They really are. Um, if you look at the restructured restructured deals that, that they're doing, they restructured Jalen Ramsey's deal um, to create an extra $12 million in cap space. I mean, they've, they've restructured, you know, Tyreek Hill's deal. They've restructured, um, you know, seemingly everyone's deal, Bradley Chubb too. Um, and it seems to be that they're trying to win now um, while Tua is still on his rookie deal. Um, and, and, and that's a, that's a good idea, right? That's, that's, that, that makes sense because, you know, when you're not paying $50 million for, for a quarterback, you have the money to splash at some other guys to, to make a difference. But I really like this Raheem Mostert, um, re-signing. I thought that the Dolphins should absolutely re-sign him. Um, I mean, he's been in the league for, for, for six or seven years at this point. Um, but you know, he's still a really good impact player. Um, and although he, you know, he is, um, getting up there to 30 years old. So after, you know, 30 running backs kind of, kind of die out a little bit. I still think this is a great pickup, um, to keep him around in Miami, such an efficient and effective runner and so quick to add to the speed on this offense. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, see ya.